investigators found Anitra Gunn's car on Bell Street is just blocks away from where she lived on West Church Road. But where Gunn was last seen Thursday night and the scene of today's search, Chestnut Hill Road, well, that's about a 10 minute drive from her house. Sheriff D says when they found Gunn's car with the front bumper missing, these photos show a stock photo of what her car looks like. And well, this is the actual photo of the car with the bumper missing. This is the stock car that it's supposed to look like. Sheriff D says the photos could be a key piece of evidence. He says whoever has Anitra's bumper may know where she is. Our team coverage continues with Chelsea Bindfor following this story today. She's also joining us live from Chestnut Hill Road. And Chelsea, what can you tell us about how this case has developed? Yeah, Frank and Lori, we've been working on putting together a timeline of her disappearance all day with her family and with law enforcement. We learned today that Anitra Gunn was last seen at this house behind us either very late Thursday night or very early on Friday morning. Apparently, her boyfriend's aunt told law enforcement that she left the house around 3 a.m. Here is what happened next. Students returned to Fort Valley State University on Monday after the weekend, but at least one person was missing from campus. I remember we went to uh, Fort Valley to do the campus walkthrough and she loved it from the first time she saw it. And that's where she wanted to go to school at. 23 year old Anitra Gunn moved to Peach County in 2016 to study agriculture at FVSU. Her father, Christopher Gunn, says he called her Friday morning and wished her a happy Valentine's Day. He says he hasn't heard from her since. She has a big, big family. Um, so she's always contacting somebody. Um, she has, you know, some close friends too. I call some of our close friends and have them do the same thing. She never takes them back, didn't call them back. Uh, that's when I, we just knew something, something is definitely uh, out of way. He asked police to do a courtesy check Friday afternoon at her home on West Church Street, but nobody was home. On Saturday, he traveled from Atlanta to Fort Valley to file a missing persons report. Soon after that, investigators found Anitra's car on Bell Street, just blocks from her house. Once the police found the vehicle, they, they immediately took it away so that they can do their start the investigation on it. Now, Christopher Gunn did, did say that his daughter's wallet was found in the car. Her cell phone was not, but he says investigators recovered that phone somewhere else. So far, they have not told us where that location was. For now, reporting live in Fort Valley, Chelsea Bime for 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Chelsea. If you know anything about the whereabouts of a Nitra gun, you can call the Fort Valley Police Department at 478-825-3383. That number again is 478-825-3383.